Morty, you know how sometimes we jump through dimensions just for fun? Well, imagine jumping through data dimensions. Data dimensions, Rick? That sounds impossible. It's not about magic, Morty. It's about packet switching. You know, breaking data into tiny chunks and sending them on a road trip around the network. Okay, so like, data postal service? But for computers? Exactly. And this postal service started with ARPANET in 1969. It wasn't some internet precursor like you'd think. It was just a way to share computing resources. So, no cat videos? No memes? Not yet, Morty. But they come later with more nodes and better protocols, like NCP evolving into TCP IP. Right, so, like evolution but for networks? Bingo. And this evolution led to something called fault tolerance. You know, like when you crash your spaceship and I fix it without even breaking a sweat? Yeah, I remember those times. Well, networks can crash too, Morty, but with fault tolerance, they don't stay down for long. It's like network CPR. So, what happened to ARPANET, Rick? Where did it go? It grew, Morty. It became NSFNet and then the Internet. And guess what? Its influence is still everywhere, from edge computing to blockchain. Wow, so ARPANET is like the grandpa of the Internet? More than that, Morty. It's a living influence, a concept that keeps evolving just like us. Now who's ready for more educational adventures? Follow us for more.